Welcome back. We're joined now by the Zoom team of Zoom Interiors, and we're using our bedroom this time as an inspiration for Debbie's bedroom at home in anticipation of her new baby's arrival. So welcome, Debbie. Thank you. And also welcome back Lizzie Grover, Madeline Fraser, and Beatrice Fisher Box. So it's good to have you Thank girls you. back again. Thank you so much. All right, and let's Debbie, what yeah, were you we're looking for? Let's for talk Debbie. about your style. Yeah, what are you doing? What well, initially I wanted something, I wanted it to be fresh and hip, but I also wanted it to be classic and inviting. So those are very different ideas, but these girls were able to put them all together. Okay. I know you, you have expensive taste. I do, yeah. Yeah. it's a bit of a but, problem. Yeah, so you kind of turned to that, you worked within a budget, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, what, are we, what are we looking we're at? We're working with $3,000, and okay. considering you're buying all new furniture, that was a pretty good budget that we were working with, and it, and it worked out well. And there was one thing that you guys were, she was really sold on. I was. We worked around the bed. What I really fell in love with when the girls came to me and they showed me their inspiration board, I fell in love with this bed. I just needed to have it. So we worked around that big focal point to make the rest of the room work. Okay, so the bed was the focal point. Is that how you girls usually work? You take a focal point and then work around it? Yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely the first thing we do because when you walk into the space, you want to have that, oh, yeah, this is an amazing focal point, and then you look at the rest of the room from there. So how do you, uh, the, the other pieces falling into place? Let's talk about those a little bit. What were the other pieces yes. that you would look well, at? Well, the thing is we really wanted to get Debbie's style, so she started with our Get Zoom survey, as all of our clients do, and we learned what her style was, what her color palette was, and then we had our designer powwow, as we tend to do, and we created a Zoom board for her, which is our vision of the space, the okay. initial inspiration. All right. So I think we're going to take a Look yep. at that right let's now. Right, let's look at take the a look zoom at the board. first board. Gosh, okay. okay. So there you can see we chose the canopy over the bed as the focal point with chandeliers over mm -hmm. the nightstands to flank the bed. Which was another big must for me. The chandeliers in that bed had to be there. Yes. Okay. All right. And then in the bay window, we chose a seating area with two armchairs and a gold table. And then lastly, Debbie really likes it. Our idea on this was throwing a cowhide under that seating area with some throw pillows to give it a contemporary edge. So Debbie, they come to you, they show you this, and now what happens? Do you? So, I, I mean, working with these girls is amazing because they really take your vision. I've had interior designers come into my home and do different rooms. Uh -huh. And you say, I like this, and then they come back and they say, well, I know you like that, but I like this. <laughs> and you, you feel, you kind of get strong-armed into it. And you go, yeah. well, you're a designer. Okay, you must know better. And then you look at it and go, oh my gosh, I don't want to live here. Yeah. Yeah. But they really <laughs> made it me, which was great. So but the initial board, though, the, it, the, did you like the, what they showed you the first one? I did because we were all going in the same direction. Okay. We're, right. we're on the same boat. Right. Mm -hmm. what I, the only thing I wanted to change was I felt that the curtains were a little too stark white. Mm -hmm. And I felt that the wall was a little too yellow. Right. So I asked to go a little warmer with the curtains and the wall. And their response was another, another Zoom board? board. Mm -hmm. Which we, okay. we usually do with clients. We revise it up to three times. Okay. So that's that's really normal. And then we, we make her a new vision, and then she can see how it's going to look in the space. All right, okay. well, let's take a look at the second board and see yeah. what that looks like. Do we have that? Yeah. Oh, there you see, it's a little softer. Oh, softer, yeah. softer. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You can see the armchairs are different. Mm -hmm. Yes. The curtains are a little warmer. Right. Sure. And then we change out the nightstands. Okay. Something a little lighter and more contemporary. I can see why you like that bed. It's a beautiful bed. Isn't that bed. lovely and so yeah. inviting? It's a beautiful bed. It's, it's it really inviting. Too. I mean, you know, we, we go through so much in our lives on the outside. It's nice when you come home to feel really right. comfortable in your space. And th that's what these girls have done. You know, they said they go through three Zoom boards. Well, they're so good at it, they don't have to go through three. <laughs> but but yeah. here's the thing, too. I think when people try to take this stuff on themselves, and maybe you can offer some advice here. Obviously, it's get a pro to help you. But you can find a piece you fall in love with. But then when you start mixing colors in, it can get really sideways quickly mm -hmm. when yeah, you go in. True. So any advice like when you're looking at, like, what do you do when you're deciding on a color palette? We ask our client what their color palette is. And then we try to work around that. And we went with that yellow, and that didn't really work. So then we just tweaked it a little bit and went more mm -hmm. taupey. And we just keep tweaking. Keep going. Well, we, yeah. we, we did a digital change of the wall color, so let's take a look oh, at, right yeah. here and see what we did with the color of the room. All right, here's our bedroom here at the home and family house, and we digitally changed the color, so let's take a look. There so we go. It's already softer. We yeah. went warmer, softer, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and more in the scheme of, of what Debbie wanted. Yeah. That's beautiful. It's very That's subtle, though. Sometimes yeah. a subtle change in a big room Cha can make a big difference. Yeah. make a big difference. Yeah. Like and that. another thing we were talking about is that yeah, it was a $3,000 budget, and you have this bed. It's much easier if you want to change it up down the road. If you decide, mm -hmm. well, I'm going to change this. You know, the baby's here. I want to make it a different color. You can. It's a lot cheaper to change the color of a wall than mm -hmm. to buy a bed for $2,000. Right. Yes, you know? of course. Uh, layout. 
Where do we go with the layout? Well, we put out all of our floor plans into AutoCAD for all of our clients. Into what? In AutoCAD. It's the floor plan generator for designers. Okay. So you see everything in 2D from aerial okay. view. Okay. Yeah. And um, so right. we did that for the bedroom, and there was really nothing that there we could is. do oh, in oh, terms is. of playing with the bed and the layout there. So. Um, we kept it as is, and in the future, if you wanted to put a bassinet or a crib in the window area, that'd be a nice, cozy area for bassinet. Sure. So, Debbie, was this an easy process for you? It was so easy. It was so enjoyable. I mean, I would hire them again and again and again because it really, they're a joy to work with. Like I said, they don't strong arm you, and then suddenly you're living yeah. in like some Palm Springs house that you're not interested in living in. You realize yeah. they're just going to do your room, and they're not babysitters. So yeah. when what? Yeah, that's no. what they told me. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, you told me that came with a price. Yeah. yeah. No. What? Well, <laughs> I just want to point that out because I think you're going to be be her baby on hips you know, the sooner than you oh, know it. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Probably Probably probably. Said, I just told her this morning you, you have that glow. She, for the first time, you don't look sick or gray. You're over all the nausea. Now Thank you goodness. have the baby glow. So, Madeline, yeah. uh, you do. You look beautiful. What was you. the overall effect that you wanted to achieve, Madeline? Well, we really wanted to have this elegant, glamorous look. Um, we were going for a glam country, French mm -hmm. chic, shabby chic room. And, you know, we wanted to follow your inspiration and your design and also show our versatility as designers. That was really important to us. Right. Well, you're, we're going to see your versatility and your speed because yes. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I know. All dressed yeah. up Overnight. and looking pretty now. Oh, but we have our converse. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, look at that. Ready, ready to go. Ready to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they go to work. They go to work very fast tomorrow. We're going to see the finished product. More information on how you can get Zoomed by going to zoominteriors.com. Thank you, girl. Thank you nice so much. Back. We're coming okay. back. Ken Wingard is up. <laughs> We're going to show you how to put together these amazing vases for pennies, literally pennies.